Dear friends in Jesus Christ, Today we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. The word Pentecost comes from the Greek. It means the 50th day. Therefore, in the church calendar it comes 50 days after Easter, including Easter Sunday. This celebration of the 50th day links back to the Jewish festival of the Festival of Weeks, which falls 50 days after Passover. The 50 days are significant because 7 is the perfect number and there are 7 weeks of 7 days. God created the world in 7 days. Seven weeks of seven days is therefore the symbol of completion and perfection. The Jewish festival of weeks was kept as a commemoration of Moses receiving the divine law on Mount Sinai. The Christians understood that as the law came down from heaven to Moses for the people of God, so the Holy Spirit came down on the church. The age of the Mosaic law was therefore fulfilled and completed by the new age of spirit and grace. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles as tongues of fire. Once they received the Holy Spirit, the apostles went out for mission without fear. It was the beginning of the mission of the church. They went to proclaim the good news of Christ. They went to spread the peace they, and they went to give forgiveness as they had been instructed. After receiving the Holy Spirit, they began to speak in tongues which means they began to speak many languages. This does not mean that they spoke among themselves in different languages. The Feast of Pentecost for Jews also a feast of weeks, a feast of first fruits and a feast of pilgrimages. Thus many people from different neighboring nations came to Jerusalem. They spoke different languages. They came with different motives and intentions. These apostles spoke to them in their languages. The people were surprised. They knew very well how difficult it is to learn a new language. We are told that these apostles spoke to them freely in their languages and they understood without any difficulties. The source of this courage and freedom is the Holy Spirit. Pentecost is, Pentecost is also called as the birthday of the church because after receiving the Holy Spirit, when St. Peter preached it is told in the Acts of the Apostles that there were 3,000 people being converted and received baptism. Thus, the birth of the church takes place here. The Apostles and the believers were united with a common zeal and purpose to go and to preach the gospel. Receive the Holy Spirit, Jesus tells in the Gospel of today. This Spirit accompanies us and guides us. There are seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom, understanding, knowledge, counsel, fortitude, piety and fear of the Lord. Wisdom helps us to recognize the importance of others and the importance of keeping God a central part uh, in our lives. Understanding is the ability to comprehend the meaning of God's message in our life.
Knowledge is the ability to think about and explore God's revelation and also to recognize there are mysteries of faith beyond us. Counsel is the ability to see the best way to follow God's plan when we have choices that relate to Him. Fortitude is the courage to do what one knows is right. Piety helps us to pray to God in true devotion. And fear of the Lord is the feeling of amazement before God, who is all present and whose friendship we don't want to lose. Dear friends, in this COVID-19 situation, where people are suffering and living in fear, we pray that the Holy Spirit may give us the spirit of perseverance to overcome this pandemic. May this be our prayers today. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth the Spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.